Hey guys, this is Christian, and today I'm taking a look at HomeKit Secure Video. Now, the new feature uh, for HomeKit Security Videos is finally here after a couple months of waiting. Um, it's rolling out for the Logitech Circle 2 camera right now um, only, so you can access it within the Logitech Circle 2 uh, app. I uh, enabled it last night without recording it, but to, to enable it, you simply head to the Logitech app um, tap the settings menu, tap, go to smart home integrations, then Apple HomeKit, and then convert to support HomeKit. Now, after you do that, you won't actually be able to see footage from your camera from the Logitech app anymore. Um, the camera will only work within the Home app. So you want to make sure that that's something you want to do. But that is definitely something that I wanted to do because now it works within the Home app pretty seamlessly. Um, so once you've done that, you have access to quite a range of extra features. Um, the the camera still shows up here as it did before, but you can see down here, um, I can see stored recordings that I have, um, or that the camera has uh, captured before. Um, the, through HomeKit Secure Video, the app actually records up to 10 days of footage. So I've only been using it for, you know, less than a day. Um, but after a couple days, or after a day, you'll see a row of dates up the top here that you can select to see all the stored footage from those days. Um, but beyond being able to see stored footage, there's a bunch of extra features as well, especially when it comes to automation. Now, before you couldn't really automate a security camera within the Home app, um, there were workarounds with uh, smart switches, but now you can automate it straight from the app itself. Now, when I'm home, I don't really want it to record, so I'm going to set it to off because it's an indoor camera. Maybe it'll be different for an outdoor camera. Um, when I'm away, however, I definitely want it to record, and I can select that here. Now, there are other um, options as well. I can select it to detect activity and then trigger aut automations, which is kind of cool, or I can set it to uh, just stream footage and not record anything. But I want it to record because I want to know if something happens when I'm away. Now, there are other um, options as well, which is kind of nice. Um, you can set it to record when any motion is detected, which means, you know, if it sees anything, it'll start recording. Um, sometimes, because this is a, a ground level uh, camera, there are shadows of people passing by windows and that kind of thing. And I don't really want notifications uh, when that happens. So I'm going to set it to when specific motion is detected. Um, for example, people, animals, vehicles, etc. And I also wanted to record audio just in case. Kind of handy to have. It's important to note that while your footage is stored in iCloud according to Apple, and it requires an iCloud 200 gigabyte or two terabyte account, um, footage isn't actually viewable outside of the home app. So you can't really go to the files uh, folder on your Mac or, or on your iPhone and see footage. You, you just have to do it straight from the home app, which I assume is because of privacy. Um, there are other features as well. You can control the status light and the night vision light, um, which is handy. And as it did before, you can see the manufacturer and you know the model and that kind of stuff. Um, once you've recorded footage, you can share it. Oh, there, there's the row of dates that I mentioned before. Kind of handy to have if you have multiple days of recordings. Um, once you've re recorded a clip, you can share it straight from the home app, which is kind of handy. Just tap the share button, select the footage that you want to share. There we go. Hit next. And then the share sheet will pop up. There we go. Really simple to use, easy, much easier than having to juggle multiple apps as you did before with um, uh, security videos in HomeKit and, you know, much better for privacy too, which is nice. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to this channel if you like this video and I'll see you next time. See ya.